Hey traders, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys my trades from 18th of August 2021. On this day, I took two trades. Both were winners, making close to around 2500 US dollars within the first one hour of market open. My first trade was on MRNA that was right at the open, at the opening bell. And my second trade was on UPST. Both these plays were for my daily game plan that I post on my Discord group every single day. So let's first take a look at my game plan. Then I will show you guys my trade recap. And finally, I will share my PNL with you guys. I was only watching three stocks for the day. Our Discord group is not only about my daily game plan. We have a lot of educational content as well. For example, we have webinars on level two, how to maintain a trading journal. And tonight itself, we had a webinar on how to maintain your risk, risk management, and how to increase your position sizing. Saying that, the first stock I was looking at is MRNA because MRNA had a nice move towards the upside the day before. This 405 to 407 level is a critical support area on the one hour chart and the resistance zone on the one hour chart. I was looking at for the break of 405 to 407 for the upside with the profit target of 410 and the break of 410 towards the upside. The second stock I was looking at is Upstart. This is the 15 minutes chart of UPST. I was liking UPST because it's making this bull pennant strategy on the 15 minutes. It had a bullish move towards the upside and then it's been consolidating and making a triangle on the 15 minutes. Ideally, I was liking it towards the upside for the break of 208 for the break of all time high, which was around 215 level, followed by 220 which is a good psychological level on upstart towards the downside i was looking at for the break of this trend line towards the downside but i was more biased on this one towards the upside because usually me as a trader i like to go with the trend and the overall trend is towards the upside on this stock the last stock i was watching for the day is tesla no surprises here i watch this stock every single day on 16th of August, it had a nice push towards the downside. I was able to capitalize on this push, but if we look at the bigger picture on Tesla, it's been holding this trend line for the past few months. I was liking it for both upside and downside. For upside, the levels were 675 and 685. For downside, the levels were 660, 650 and yesterday's low. But if we look at the bigger picture on Tesla, it's in a very messy zone at 650 and 700. This zone between 650 to 700 is a messy zone on Tesla with a lot of volume being done around this zone. So my play will be to take it for the break of 700 if it does or for the break of 650 if it does towards the downside. But it's a good stock to watch every single day because you never know when Tesla starts moving. It can even move $25, $30 for the day. My first trade of the day was on MRNA because I was liking MRNA for the upside. I love how it was holding the 405 level before the open. Once it caught some momentum, we saw the increase in the time in sales. I was liking it for the break of 410. So in the anticipation of break, I got filled 10 contracts at a premium price of 8.84. I'm trading 420 calls, same week contracts. I was expecting 410 to break. At the break of 410, you guys know that if I'm trading the open, I like to take my profits really quick because the stocks can be very volatile at the open. When it failed to hold above 410, I took five contracts out at a premium price of 9.90, which was a really good move in my favor within the first 50 seconds of market open. Then when I saw this wick around the pre-market high, I covered the rest of my position at a fill price of $9.00, overall making $610 on this trade within the first 50 seconds of market open, which is the crazy thing about the stock market. My second trade of the day was on UPST. This is unlike me. On this trade, I will enter small size on the pullback because I'm liking this stock a lot on the five minutes. I am anticipating that this will make a triangle on the one minute and the five minutes and push towards the upside. So in the anticipation of making a triangle and the break of the triangle, I got filled two contracts. I'm trading 210 calls. My fill price is 730. I'm not increasing my size on this pullback trade because first of all, this is not my strategy. This is not how I trade. I'm already green for the day, $600. So I was willing to risk maybe $100 on this trade only on two contracts. My stop loss on this position was the break of 208 towards the downside because it was holding this trend line that it's been making since the market opened. My plan was to add in at the break of the triangle. You guys know that I got a really good entry on my startup position, only two contracts. At the break of the triangle, when I saw a lot of green on the time and sales, there was a huge ask at 212. I was anticipating that if this ask goes up, 
and this as this seller gives up we might see the break of high of the day and the all time high which was this level this dotted line is the all time high on UPST at the break of this triangle i added 10 more contracts trading the same contracts 210 calls same week expiry and i got filled at 8.69 so in total two of my contracts had a fill price of 7.30 and the new 10 contracts have a fill price of 8.69 you guys can see that i had a perfect entry on this one at the break of the triangle my pullback entry was also really good so just to be safe, I was expecting some kind of resistance at this 215 level. I covered five contracts at a premium price of 9.80 and the contracts that I entered and the pullback, I covered those contracts as well at the same fill price at 9.80. So in total, I had 12 contracts. I am out of my seven contracts. I'm still holding five contracts to see if this can make a flag and push towards the upside even further. And that is exactly what it did. It pushed towards the upside on huge volume. Then it consolidated one red candle on low volume. That's why I was liking it for the break of the flag. And my stop loss for the remaining contracts was the break of 212 towards the downside. And you guys can see that buyers held that level. At the break of 215, you guys can see that I covered another two contracts at a premium price of 10.59. And I'm still holding three of my contracts. I just forwarded this recording so that you guys don't get bored. I covered my one contract at a premium price of 10.63 right around here. At the new break of high of the day, I covered another contract at a premium price of 11.24 and now I was only left with one last contract. For that last contract, I just considered that if it can break $220 level, that will pay me a lot. But I put my stop loss for that contract for the break of 9 EMA towards the downside. When it failed to hold the 9 EMA towards the downside on the one minute chart, I covered my last contract at a premium price of 9.30, overall making around $2,000 on this trade, which is a crazy move on UPST. That's pretty much it, guys. I took two trades. You guys can see it's almost 11 a.m. I like to get done within the first one to two hours of market open because I strongly believe that if you are a trader, you can perform at your peak brain function only for the first one to two hours of market open. And that's exactly what I did. I took my first trade on MRNA right at the open, making around $600 on that trade. My second trade on UPST, I made around $1,900, overall making $2,500 for the day. My first entry was at 9.30 a.m. on MRNA. My last partial on UPST was at 10.22 a.m. That means I made $2,500 within the first one hour of market open and call it a day. That's it, guys. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a lot more content on day trading. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you're making a huge mistake because I post a lot of good day trading content on Instagram as well. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.